save them money on labor costs, make them more efficient so processes take less time. To be able to build an application that basically tracks all those steps along the way and keeps you the most effective. There's really a lot of ways you can uh, improve operational efficiency through the use of technology. How are we using tech, leveraging that to save our customers time and money? We are going to talk about operational efficiency. What does that mean? How can we, as a tech company, use tech to basically save companies money and improve their efficiency? So that's what we're gonna talk about. So how are we doing that right now? How are we using tech, leveraging that, to save our customers time and money and help improve efficiencies for them? Yeah, and that's, I mean, it's a really broad topic. Obviously, there's ways we could save them um, save them money on labor costs, mm -hmm. make them more efficient so processes take less time, uh, even save them on, like, say, supply usage, things like that. So um, some examples of ways we've done that for clients in the past is um, we had one client, Sice, who we built a... Um, an app combined with some hardware that the client that the client had designed to measure the fuel level in airplanes, so that mm -hmm. it could be pilots could easily check it from their from their iPhone. Um, so that was something we did in the aeronautics space. Uh, we've done different inspection type apps where we took. Um, where the company was already doing inspections with like pen and paper kind okay. of thing in the field and, and then you know manually filling that out and then you know taking the time to you know, fax that somewhere else and that sort of thing and we actually built mobile apps for them so okay. that they in the field could just do their inspections right there so one of them was in um well, actually, they were both kind of related to ag and mm -hmm, farming, but mm -hmm. one of them had to do with measuring the efficacy of, of chemicals being sprayed and how efficiently that was being done to make sure they weren't wasting money on chemicals because they're really expensive. Yeah, I know. Yeah, exactly. They're so expensive yeah. when you're dealing in the ag space. I mean, even just a small amount of overspray on a crop across just acres hundreds and of acres, acres, yeah. hundreds. Yeah, you suddenly you realize that. I mean, it's a lot of money. And so getting down to really like just micro amounts of spray in, you know, um, inefficiencies is extremely profitable if you yeah. can get rid of those. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and we did another one too, having to do with uh, inspections and packing houses. So okay. the company used an app that uh, mm -hmm. we would build, we built for them to help them just really kind of streamline this inspection process and be able to fill it all in and submit it and have it instantly go back, you know, back to our headquarters so that they could, you know, analyze the data. Yeah, because it's amazing when you're, you know, talking about, you know, food packing, you know, food, you know, in a grocery store or at a local market, the journey that, you know, that apple or mm -hmm. banana or, you know, head of lettuce or whatever it was actually went through to get yeah. there is amazingly insane and a very in-depth process. And so to be able to build an application that basically tracks all those steps yeah. along the way and keeps you the most effective mm -hmm. and efficient, that's obviously how, you know, right. tech can help. Well, and just another one, you too, is anything that will um, just kind of save you on cashier window hours. Mm. So let's say you have a line with a cashier there that's working eight hours a day, um, taking payments for things. Um, you know, we've done projects in the past with kiosks before, where now they can reduce those window hours or eliminate them completely, and customers can off, uh, you know, opt for self-service. So there's really a lot of ways you can uh, improve operational efficiency through the use of technology, be it through kiosks or mobile apps or websites. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's tons of benefits to it. So I think, I mean, as you know, as a company, um, you know, clients like it, they come to us because they're trying to get these benefits from tech and how we leverage them. Yeah. So I mean, I mean, is this is this a healthy thing that you see people going down the road of leveraging tech to help be efficient? Is this just angering you know their their workforce? Like, like how helpful and beneficial is it for companies to be thinking on the line of mm -hmm. tech? and investing in tech to help them grow. Yeah. Is well, it a good line of thinking? Yeah, no, it is It is a good line of thinking. Um, I mean, we really like to start with what is the problem that the client is trying to solve? Mm -hmm. um, not necessarily like what tech is right for you, because when we start with the problem, we can see what their objectives and their end goal are. And so in some cases, it might be that they're actually trying to lower labor costs. Okay. Um, and in other cases, it might be that they just want people to be able to make the best use of their time. Mm, and so mm -hmm. rather than having that person sit there and take payments and count cash all day, we can um, we can repurpose that, we can have a machine do that, mm -hmm. and have that person go do something else. So again, it really just kind of comes back to what are your objectives. Yeah, tech is not always about just replacing the human element. Right. It's about making the human element, um, and we've even talked about it when we were talking you know, machine learning and AI type mm -hmm. stuff. We're trying to take the benefits of the human brain and be able to maximize those efficiencies and then the things that machines or data logs or any kind of tech 
that they can do really well, let's leverage those things and not just replace the humans, but let them be useful towards right. your company. So. Right. We're trying to make uh, make it so that your customers and your users' experience with you are more uh, rich and fulfilling and mm -hmm. make them want to come back and just more pleasant for everyone. That's good. So obviously very specific depending on the customer and what their project needs are and how we can make them effective mm -hmm. um, and more efficient as a company. What are some of these benefits? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, obviously it's great to be efficient, but why? So right. what are the benefits? Why should companies be investing in tech like this, like we've described to basically be more efficient? Mm -hmm. Well, there's a variety of reasons. Um, one is it allows us to capture more information Right? And, and to really get a better view of you know, what are the inefficiencies in our business, what are the pain points, and you know, what data can I gather to help me make smarter decisions with my business. Because it might be that you know, you're like on a pen and paper style process, mm -hmm. and that data, you write it down, it goes on a file cabinet somewhere, and then you never touch it and think about it. Mm -hmm. But now that we've maybe digitized that process, and it's, you know, it's actually on a tablet or a phone, we now have that data. We can we can parse that data. We can find trends within it. You know all the analyzation that goes along with collecting that data. You're already doing that, but now that it's collected in a you know an actual digital form, there's so much more you can do with exactly. it. So interesting. Okay. And we really like to help clients um, understand what their their ROI is going to be on this mm. investment. So again, we start with the problem. We look at the pain points. We help them figure out what it's going to cost to solve this problem. And then, is there are they going to get a good return on that investment? Sure, that's important. It's not just important that we get it done on time and on budget, mm -hmm. but that it's actually a win. You know, yeah, a win for them. Yeah, and the return on investment could be different because yes, you obviously want a tangible like monetary return on investment. Mm -hmm. um, but it also could be that, again, back to pen and paper processes, uh, human errors, you know. Human errors and just frustration too. Frustration. I mean, we can help remove frustration and friction from the whole process. Yeah. I know we've had processes where it is a, a handwritten out in the field type taking notes, gathering info that has to go back to some administrative team mm -hmm. and then they have to literally decipher that and put that into some system that might be an off the shelf system. And you're dealing with literally frustrations of I can't read your ugly handwriting, Andrew. You know, and so <laughs> mine is horrible. <laughs> and so that would be real. That right there is even just a, an efficiency that gets added in, um, and and you're you know you're bypassing that person not to replace them, but to allow them to do something else, which is a tangible benefit that could help with lower payroll costs, um, and obviously catching errors and, and that sort of a thing. And then of course you run into ideas. I would say where. People have a lot of off-the-shelf type solutions that you might be able to actually combine those into something, make it more effective in a single application. And now you're not paying six or seven licenses. You own a piece of software. Right. You own a system um, that not only pays for itself in a short amount of time, but that just continues to pay for itself. Yeah, and that's a, that's a really good point in the ROI is, are you paying for some, particularly if it's an ex expensive subscription-based mm -hmm. system, we can look at how much you're paying per year, you know, per seat kind of thing, and help you calculate like, okay, am I gonna get, make my money back within a year, within six months, within 18 months, you know, what makes sense? Thank you so much for joining us for this episode of Bixley Tech Tuesday. I hope you enjoyed that conversation between Chris and Andrew as they talked about the ways in which you can leverage tech to make a huge impact in your business and especially the efficiency of your business, saving you a lot of time, money, getting you reliable data. If you have any questions at all about what they talked about today, go ahead and leave them in the comments section. And don't forget to check out the description box down below. We have a bunch of really helpful links for you guys, including a link to our free custom software guide, as well as a link to our website, Bixley.com. And right at the top of our website, you'll see a button that says, Get My Project Roadmap. And that gives you a free 60-minute call with Chris to talk about your next app idea. Until next time, this has been an episode of Bixley Tech Tuesday. Thank you.